Thank you for tuning in to The Contact Coach. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the tackle process and key elements what I feel are critical to a safe yet very effective tackle. I'm going to be using Sam Underhill, the England back rower, as key points of reference in his technique, but also what can we learn from other sports and transfer over to rugby to really bring the learning to life. So to start off, we're going to look at a low powerful stance and I'm going to use the deadlift as a great example of how we can transfer that movement into our tackle technique. This is a fantastic image of how we want to look in a tackle. We've got a straight back, shoulder blades are squeezed, the power is going to come through the legs as you extend through those hips as you stand. So let's see how this position transfers into tackle technique. So here's the first clip, what I'm going to be focusing on and what Sam does with his leading foot and also the stant he's in before the contact. It's a great technique all round, but those two areas are what I'm going to be focusing on. So first thing we're going to look at is his foot placement. Right foot, right shoulder. It would be the same left foot, left shoulder. You want that leading foot to be as close to the ball carrier as possible. You get your foot close, that means your body is going to be close. You can get low and then you can extend. You don't want to be reaching. So this is fantastic technique from Sam here. So the lead foot is close. Now we can get in that deadlift position, that real low, strong position. And that allows you to then use those big muscles to power through and extend through the hips. If we play on here, that's when you get the force to drive the opposition backwards. Once you're in that low dynamic position, now it's about an explosive strike and wrap. And I take a lot of my learnings from wrestling, as you can see here, the speed of the strike and then the squeeze to take away all momentum from your opposition. Now, obviously we don't tackle like this in rugby, but we can use those principles of an explosive strike and aggressive wrap. Putting it back into a rugby context, we've got the low powerful position, then we have the explosive strike, and now it's time for the aggressive wrap. Now you have the opposition ball carrier exactly where you want them, no momentum. From a different angle, you can see here the aggressive wrap and where we differ from wrestling, is obviously we put them down on their back in a safer manner. But that is a wonderful, wonderful tackle technique with explosive strike and an aggressive wrap. So it's not enough just to be low and have a strong wrap. You need to keep the momentum on. The best imagery I like to use is sprinters coming out of the gate. So looking at the sprinter's lead leg, that's the tackler's lead leg, the power from the rear leg is what is gonna give you that momentum in the tackle. We can learn a lot from the sprinter out the blocks. Bringing it back to tackle technique, foot is close, low powerful stance. You can see the wrap uh, is gonna be aggressive, but the similarities here to a sprinter and a starting gate, you can see that rear leg. Now watch it drive forward. There's the momentum, and then the other foot can chase back to keep that momentum on and the pressure on. And here it is in one movement. Just to show the consistency of Sam's tackling, let's look at a few more clips to round out the video of great technique. Foot close, low strong position and wrap, power through, lands on top, ready to compete. Again, you can see the foot close, strong powerful position, aggressive wrap, there's the leg drive, lands on top in the dominant position. And finally, Strong position, you can see the wrap exploding through, really dominant hit, puts his team in control. To summarize, Sam Underhill's tackling technique is fantastic. It's brutally powerful, yet safe. He's got that low powerful stance, explosive strike and wrap, and the knee drive to land on top and compete. Analyzing movements in other sports can really give us an edge in rugby and, and let us think differently. So the deadlift for that powerful stance, the takedown in wrestling or MMA for the explosive strike and wrap, and then the sprinters on the knee drive. There's a lot to be learned from other sports and how we can transfer that to rugby.
If you liked this video, I'd really appreciate it if you shared it with your social networks. Uh, you can tag me at thecontactcoach.com on Twitter and Instagram. And you can also visit thecontactcoach.com to learn more about my services, including one-on-one -on -one sessions, small group, team sessions, and online mentoring and coaching analysis.